When we think of dementia, we think of an older person's disease, but that's not always the case. Mum Renee is making every moment memorable with her three young kids. Why am I the only one in the whole Why entire bush? Every story Renee reads to her children oh, is precious. I'm not a bear, I'm really not, so you need to sort it out. Okay, but it's okay, Hudson, please. Holly and Austin's story we all true. need to hear. Marsupials is what we are and you should know that Everyone too. thinks tomorrow's a given, but it's not, so we just get through one day at a time. You know, I don't have time on my side, so I can't just sit back and hope that something's going to change. Do you think that's enough for now? For this single mum, it's all about making memories. Even though one day her now active, giggly kids might not remember them. Just eight, six and four, they all have childhood dementia. Oh, that was a juicy one. For Hudson, symptoms have already started. He struggles to read and write at school. Holly's challenges are different. You know, she breaks her own heart because she can't keep up sometimes and, you know, she tries so hard and can't understand why it's not working for her. When little Austin was eight months old, he had an enlarged liver and spleen. What doctors found changed everything for this devoted mum. They found Neiman Pick type C1, which is a type of childhood dementia. I got given it on a piece of paper and they sort of said, look, this is what it is, it's terminal, there's no treatment, there's no cure. It's a genetic condition triggered when both parents have a mistake in their genes. Renee's two eldest children had a 25% chance of inheriting it. I decided to get them blood tested so I could stop worrying all the time. And they both came back positive as well. I cried and I cried and very soon we were introduced to palliative care, which I wasn't even aware is a thing for children. The coming years, what do they look like for your children? They developed to appropriately to a certain age and then they start to regress, start to lose memories and body functions, the abilities to walk, the abilities to talk, the abilities to eat, eventually till there's nothing left to lose. I hate asking this question but I, I think it's important to ask, how long are your children expected to live? Most children with Neiman Pick Type C don't live to see their 20th birthday. Scientists like Dr May Ung Tut hold all the power. At Perth's Murdoch University, May and her team are developing a drug to reduce the level of fat production in children with dementia. The problem with these children is that they have genetic uh, defects that they actually cannot get rid of these fat molecules and they started to build up and this build up then lead to toxic environment and then cause the cell death in the brain. In a landmark investment, the federal government granted $2.7 million for childhood dementia research, a collaboration between three major Australian unis. Here we go. Ah! There are more than 70 genetic conditions that cause the terminal illness. Today in Australia, we estimate that there's probably about 2,300 children living with dementia. And unfortunately, 75% of, of those children will die before they reach their 18th birthday. Meg Mack from the Childhood Dementia Initiative says the death rate is comparable to that of kids with cancer. The health systems are not meeting those needs and families have to fight for every scrap of support and care that their child receives and that's just unacceptable. How do you stay strong every day? I guess the thing is I'm still their mum and I have to get up, I have to keep going, you know, they fuel me to get up every day and fight another day and you know, they have to go through so much so that I have to be strong for them so that they can be strong.